Hello everybody, hope you're all alright. Um, it's tough out there at the moment, but it's January, so it's going to be. I've got, you know, I've got to be honest, I'm kind of waiting for it to pick up. And I thought it might have picked up a little bit more than it has by now. But, you know, it's happened before, weather the storm, away we go. <coughs> right, got a bit of a dilemma. Which is, um, I just bumped into Daniel. Daniel's one of the guys who joined because of me, and we just picked up our last job together. So he said, give me a shout out. Hello, mate. How you doing? He's doing all right. He's got two, two or three motors on the road now, um, all loot and curtain sides. And he says to me, he said, when are you going to get a curtain side? Now, bearing in mind the fact that I tell everybody on this, on this channel that the ideal van you want really is a loot and curtain side with a tail. Uh, and then I didn't go and get one. I got a box with a tail. Because curtain sides aren't always that easy to come by. But apparently there's some geezer up in Huddersfield that if you buy your van from there, according to my mate, um, he'll, he'll convert it for free and he'll even let you choose which kind of curtain you want. He chose grey. Very nice. Looks good. Um, but I, when I was doing it, I didn't know this and I got myself a box because the thing is, loot and boxes are much more available secondhand because they're ex high vans. So if you're all ex B higher or ex sort of, um, I can't remember the name of the firms now, but. Yeah, so I thought, well, you can get the, the curtain side converted. Now, so your, your box converted to a curtain. You only need a curtain on one side to be a curtain. Um, and I think it's about 800 quid. Because they have to strengthen the pole at the top and they have to put bits down the side and then the curtain goes out and then the fork truck goes in and bing bong. And then I started thinking, but for that kind of money, I could get an O again. Now, when I was doing the market trader thing, I, had to, I was driving a seven and a half tonne. So to drive a seven and a half ton, I had an operator's license, which foolishly, when I went down from driving a seven and a half ton on the markets to a van, I turned in because I thought I didn't need any more. And getting an operator's license is a pain because you have to, in, in my day, because bearing in mind I am old, you had to take out an advert in a local paper, that cost you 180 quid. Uh, you had to do an admin fee. I think that was about 225 pound. But then bear in mind, I'm going back about 15 years now. Um, you had to prove that you had enough money that if the vehicle broke down, you could maintain it. Um, I think the amount of money now is £7,500. So you've got to show them that you've got £7,500. But you don't, as I understand it, and once again, I'm asking you, this is not me telling you, because I don't know what I'm talking about anyway, I don't know why you even listen to me, but I'm asking you, as I understand it, if you've got a clear credit card... Um, that that'll count. You know, you prove that you've got the funds to repair the vehicle in case something goes wrong with a vehicle because they don't want you going driving around in big vehicles that are going to crash and kill people. Um, so it's just, and what's kind of put me off at the moment, I can't be bothered to get the curtain um, converted, also got to take the van off the road. And I like seven and a half tonners because you've got a bit more space in the cab. And also, on the normal Courier Exchange app, it goes up to seven and a half tonnes. If you've got a bigger vehicle, by the way, the haulage exchange is out there. If you're a lorry driver and you want back loads, the haulage exchange is out there. They'll do the same thing for you, just for the big boys. Um, again, and then uh, do you think, well, if I could get a seven and a half tonner, and I can still do looting jobs. And you can still do a small van job. But like, I was stuck the other day. I, I did a job this week and I had to pick up the night before and I had to go down to Chichester and I was stuck in Chichester. Um, and there were two seven and a half tonne jobs coming out of Chichester but no looting jobs. As if I'm in a seven and a half tonne in Chichester and there's no seven and a half tonne job that comes out but a looting job, three panics, you could still do it. And potentially because it's a seven and a half tonne you could, you're more likely to co-load. You're more likely to have on off with um, fork trucks. You're more likely to be able to get a curtain side with a tail lift, um, but then you've got the hassle of going through it. And the, 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 I was speaking to Daniel again, he said the license that I had before was what they call a restricted license, which means you can only carry your own goods. If, you want to, if I want to really get into this again, I've got to go for a national license, which means I'll get higher reward carrying other people's goods, and I think that might be another kettle of fish altogether. Also, if you go on a national license, all the vehicles have got to be inspected every eight weeks or every so many, th so many hundred miles, and that's dearer, but they don't have much dearer to run. And they do go on for longer. And you can buy a seven and a half tonner for round about the same money as you can buy a decent loot and van, or you used to when I started. So what do I do, guys? Do I carry on just as I am and keep trying to expand the, the end user side of things? Or do I think about getting the loot and converted um, so I can do counter side of jobs, which is a lot less hassle? Or do I go for the O? 
And there's going to be a load of people out there that are screaming at the phone right now and calling me an idiot because they know far better than me. So there you go. I'm asking you a question. What should I do? Um, I'm open, is this going to be a little while? Well, you know, I'll, I'll give you some kind of response on this Sunday's Q&A. Maybe a bigger one on the next Sunday's Q&A. And in the meantime... Um, I know it's tough out there, but I'm sure it'll come good again. The sun will come out soon. It'll get, it gets lighter every day. It gets a bit easier every day. And that makes it easy for us to take care, take money. Looking forward to responses, guys. Let me know what you think. Cheers.